Hey, how's it going all you most amazing smart top teners out there? Thank you guys so much for coming back. I'm Landon and this is where we take interesting topics and compile them into a top 10 list for your guys' entertainment. So the brain is the most complex organ in our human body. It is responsible for our intelligence. It interprets senses, initiates body movements and controls our behavior. So let's get into this list. There's so much to learn about this thing up here. I'm talking about the human brain, so start off in at number 10 for the top 10 most amazing facts about the human brain. So did you guys know that we use more than 10% of our brains? Because a lot of people think that we only use 10%. Yes, that's right. There's a very popular myth that says we only use 10% of our brain. This is a very common misconception. A neurologist at Johns Hopkins said that we use virtually every part of our brain and that most of our brain is active almost all the time. Even when you sleep, the frontal cortex is very active. This is the area of the brain that controls things like higher level of thinking and self-awareness. If we only use 10% of our brains, we essentially wouldn't be able to survive. So I'm not saying that you use 100% of your brain all the time. I'm just saying you use different parts at different times. Okay, so in at the number nine spot, sorry ladies, but men's brains are actually 10% larger. But this doesn't mean men are smarter than women because I don't think we are. Although women's brains are smaller, they have more nerve cells and connectors that work more efficiently than a man's brain. Also an area known as the straight gyrus, which is responsible for nurturing, is actually larger in the female brain. It was also discovered that women tend to process information on the emotional right side of the brain, where men process things on the logical side of the brain, which is the left side. Okay, moving into number eight spot. Oh, I got a little bit tired of that one. Well, yawning has always been a mystery, but now there's a study that suggests that yawning is the body's way of cooling down our overheated brains. Cooling of the brain increases its performance. It's almost like we're a working computer. So it is believed that contagious yawning might be an evolutionary trait meant to improve overall alertness in groups of people. And yawning is often related back to tiredness, stress, and lack of simulation because these things increase the temperature in our brains. So we yawn, to cool our brains down. In at number seven, I hope you guys enjoy seafood because it is considered to be the most suitable food for the brain. So based on a recent study, the fatty acid that is in seafood can improve our memory function by about 15%. Scientists recommend a seafood rich diet in order to keep our brains healthy and to prevent the occurrence of dementia. So I know you guys can guess what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. In at the number six, but we have over 100,000 miles of vessels in our brains. Just to put that in perspective, the distance around the world at the equator is about 24,900 miles. So there's more miles of blood vessels in our brain than there is miles around the earth. The brain is comprised of such a dense network of blood vessels because the brain's normal function depends upon an adequate supply of oxygen and nutrients that are transported by the blood vessels. Okay, moving into number five spot, your brain is actually more active when you're sleeping. When you sleep, the brain processes all the activity that occur during the day. This is one of the many reasons why scientists believe we have dreams. A study showed that when we sleep, it helps helps us to alleviate trauma and process complex emotions and interactions that we've experienced throughout the day. Also people with a higher IQ tend to dream more and napping during the day has proven to make people more energized and focused on their work. So you guys should tell that to your teachers the next time you pass it in class. Tell them that you're getting ready for the next class. Number four is pretty interesting because the human brain is the only organ in the human body that lacks nerves. This is so strange because the brain acts as the command center for the central nervous system. So how does something that controls your whole nervous system and it doesn't even have nerves itself. So what is going on? To put this more simply, the human brain is incapable of feeling any pain. So you guys are probably wondering then, well why the heck do we have headaches? Well there is other areas in your head and neck that have pain receptors. And they're actually the cause of your headache, so don't be blaming your brain. So the brain is the most energy consuming part of the body and this takes us into number three. Although the brain weighs about three pounds and only represents 2% of our body weight, it uses up to 20% of the body's energy production. The energy is used for cell health maintenance and to fuel electrical impulses that brain cells use to communicate with another. Moving into number two spot, our brains often mislead us. Optical illusions occur because our brain is trying to interpret what we see and make sense of the world around us. Optical illusions trick our brains into seeing things that may not be real. Our eyes transmit information back to our brain and it requires too much brain power to process it all. In order to make this job easier, the brain uses shortcuts to understand what it's seeing. So take a look 
look at this optical illusion right here. I'll step aside a little bit. Okay, so which side do you think is darker? Is it A or is it B? So what if I told you that both of the squares is actually the same color? See, this is your brain playing tricks on you. So what is going on? The optical illusion tricks our brain because the checkerboard pattern makes us believe that one square should be a darker color than the other square. So although both of the squares are the same color, our brains is kind of trying to make its own sense and formulate its own conclusions, concluding that both of them are different colors, making this an optical illusion. Okay, so far we've made it into number one spot, but quickly let's recap what we've had so far. We now know that we do in fact use more than 10% of our brains. We should be eating more seafood because that helps the brain. That's the best source of food for our brains. The brain consumes a lot of energy, although it only takes up 2% of our body. Our brains is actually more active at nighttime, and this might be the reason why we dream. But coming into the number one spot, did you guys know that nerve impulses to and from the brain travels as fast as 170 miles an hour? That is pretty fast. This explains why we can react so fast to things and why we stub our toe and it hurts right away, or how we're able to move our hand away from like a very, very hot surface. I mean, think about this, 170 miles an hour from here, to here. It's a very, very short distance. Your thoughts are both. So this is due to the fast movement of nerve impulses from the brain to the rest of your body and of course vice versa. This process allows reactions to occur at the speed of a highly powered luxury car. So just think of like a McLaren F1 zooming around in your body, but just a miniature one, like a very, very small and cute one. Well there you guys have it. That was the top 10 incredible facts about the brain. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two and I'll see you guys all in the next video. So let me know what you guys think of this video in the comment section below, guys. These videos is so much fun to make. I learned so much. Hopefully you guys are learning so much. Let me know what most amazing top 10 video you guys would like to see next. And there is some like fan going on in here. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It sounds like <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.